Hey, Charles, this is when we get to talk about reinforcement learning. Hi, Michael. This is when I get to hear about reinforcement learning. Wow, I'm glad we're on the same page. So, Are we on the same page? Is this all of reinforcement learning, or is it just the reinforcement learning basics? We're going to start with the basics. Oh, okay. I can't wait to hear what that is. So the first concept to try to understand when you're doing reinforcement learning is that a lot of it takes place as a conversation between an agent and an environment. Okay, so like right now, you're the agent and I'm the environment? Uh, actually, I think I'm going to have you be the agent. Okay. And we'll just imagine some kind of, I don't know, like a video game environment. That seems reasonable. By the way, have you noticed I've lost weight? <laughs> oh, good job. How, how did you do that? Well, I got drawn as a stick figure. <laughs> That's fair. So here we are, the agent and the environment. And the conversation basically talks about what is going back and forth between the agent and the environment. So the, the environment is going to reveal itself to you, to the agent, in the form of states, S. You then get to have some influence on the environment by taking actions, A, and then you also receive back before the next state some kind of reward for the most recent state action combination. Okay, fair enough. So this is the same kind of elements that we have in an MDP. But the important thing is that instead of just being given an MDP as some kind of a graph structure and then we get to compute on it, really the, the computation is happening inside the head of the agent and the information about the environment is really only available through the course of this interaction. So do, does that make some sense? It does make some sense, but I, I guess how is that any different from the MDP? Well, it is, it's the same story as how a policy interacts with an MDP, right? where this is, this is playing the role of the MDP and this is playing the role of the policy pi. But mm -hmm. now, again, we, the, the, the computational aspect of the, of the system here, the agent doesn't know the environment. It's not living inside the agent's head. Instead, the agent is just experiencing the environment by interacting with it. It could then, you know, if it's, if it's so chose, build some kind of a model of the environment in its head and then think about that. But the, what's in the agent's head and what's in the environment are two different things in this setup. Okay, fair enough. I get that. So maybe, maybe I can make this a little bit clearer. So let's actually put you in this environment. What do you say? Okay, metaphorically? No, let's just do it. Sure. <laughs>